All right, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms YouTube channel. We're on this channel. We are pure country. Okay, this is a little bit of a explanation before you actually watch the video. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> on all natural weed killer. I made the video. You'll see it in the video. I explained how you might want to. Uh, I got I got a better sprayer that sprays really well, which you'll see that in the video. Um, but the pool salt wasn't totally dissolved all the way. So what I did in the video, I said I was going to try it. I took it in the house. I boil, I just kind of got the vinegar hot and stirred the pool salt up. It totally dissolved. The sprayer works great now. So I don't need to spray this again, but you can see how it's killing it. If you look here, you can see all the way around, it works. So I just want to, I just want to say before you watch the video, I'm going to take, every time I do this, I'm going to take my gallon of vinegar, two cups of pool salt, dump it in, and uh, heat it up, let the pool salt dissolve, wait till it cools off, it's dissolved. You might have a little bit around the rim of the pot, but it's not a big deal. So anyways, on to the video. All righty, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms YouTube channel, where on this channel we are pure country. Beautiful sunny day today. What we're doing in this video here is we're killing, we're doing an all-natural weed killer uh, for our beehives. You don't want to spray, obviously you don't want to spray chemicals. Let me make sure I'm in the camera here, okay. Obviously you don't want to spray chemicals around your hive. I mean, that's just common sense. <laughs> um, so you can make yourself an all-natural weed killer. Pretty much everything you see on the internet or online or YouTube is, you know, it's, it's vinegar, it's salt, and it's uh, soap. The dish soap helps um, the, uh, the liquid stick to the plants. Well, we're on the bees, you probably don't want to put dish soap. I'm not sure exactly what's in dish soap, I'd have to look it up, but I'm sure it's probably not good for the bees if they land on it. But the salt and vinegar isn't going to hurt anybody. And what I'm using here is pool salt, actually. You can go to Walmart or wherever, buy a 40-pound bag of pool salt for like nine bucks. Uh, dissolve it in the vinegar. What I've got in this sprayer here is I've got one gallon. The sun is right in my eyes here. I got a gallon of vinegar, all just regular old white distilled vinegar. It's like a 5% distilled. And two cups of pool salt. I'm doing it pretty heavy. I want to kill these weeds and be done with it. So I made it pretty potent. Um, what I did first around here is I weed whacked a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. I took the weed whacker. And the weed whacking doesn't bother the bees. Some people think it does. It don't. I've stood right there. with. I've, it's, mine's actually an electric, or a, a battery-operated uh, weed whacker. I bought it for around the house. And it's really not that good because it, it doesn't last that long. But for out here, it's perfect. It doesn't take you that long. It's kind of quiet. <coughs> And you can zip right around your hives with it and get your weeds down. So I, I, uh, I'm a little late this year. I forgot about this, actually. I wanted to do this sooner before the grass started coming up, and I forgot. And just all of a sudden, I'm out here one day. I'm like, oh, yeah, weeds. Um, so I weed whacked first. And then, I put the, then I sprayed it with the, with the sprayer. Um, what I did, at first, I bought myself just a cheap, cheap sprayer. You know the old saying, you pay for what you get? Well, it's true. I bought a $6 sprayer, and it kept clogging. The nozzle head kept clogging. Because obviously, the salt might clog it. Uh, what I'm going to try next time is I might heat this vinegar a little bit and then dissolve the pool salt in it, see if that will dissolve faster, then put it in the sprayer. So I went and bought a better sprayer that's got a, it's, it's just a nicer sprayer. It's a heavier duty. It's like double the price, 12 bucks or whatever. So sometimes cheap isn't always good. You think, you, you think to yourself, well, I don't need anything real expensive out here. Well... If it keeps clogging, you do. Or I'd be spraying with it, and uh, it won't shut off because the salt would clog it or whatever. So I, I got myself a better one. It's only like 12 bucks, And it's got, it's got a different adjustments on it. You can see the head on this thing. It's got different. I cannot see, and there it is. Um, it's got different adjustments on it. And it's just a two-gallon sprayer. But I am going to try the next batch I make. Um, I am gonna, I'm going to heat the vinegar first and then put the salt in. And we'll see if that dissolves it faster. Because you still got to put this, when you put, your, when you put it in, you want to shake it up and mix it so, it's, so it dissolves. When I just transferred this from the old sprayer to this one, there was still a little bit of salt at the bottom. So just shake it up really good. I always just put it in and let it just soak and then shake it up. So anyways, and you can kind of see, I actually did a little bit of this yesterday. And then my sprayer quit. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Let me see. Hold on. You can kind of see, I might get cut out of the camera, but you can kind of see how it's already killing the, the weeds around. i got to finish it now. I wanted to make this video yesterday, and then the sprayer quit. 
But you can see, if you look around, you can see the grass is dying. Um, over here, where the other hives are, it's pretty muddy right now. So it's, it's pretty sloppy right now, but it's, uh, I'm going to spray around that too. But right now, we're just doing this right here. Let me back this up. You know, I say sometime, someday maybe I'll be able to afford to have a camera person, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? All right. So pretty much, you just put your, get yourself in there, get your mixture in. I right, said so I wouldn't use, I wouldn't use the soap, the dish soap, because I don't know what's in it. Yep, let me adjust my camera one minute here, guys. Let me see what I'm doing here. So get yourself, get your mixture in, pump it up till, just keep pumping until it gets really hard, and then just spray it. See? See, this nozzle is nice because it's got a spray to it. And I just kind of coat it pretty heavy here. Let me, let me change. I did, this, this is my first... This is my first shot with it here, so let me see. Nope, I don't want that. See the pool, the problem with using the salt, there, it clogs it. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to get it coated pretty good. And you can see after what I did yesterday, it's killing it already. So... All natural weed killer, vinegar and salt. That's all there is to it. Let me pump this up a little bit here. The sooner you get your weeds knocked down, the better. Then you don't got it. Getting your weeds knocked down too is going to help with your hive beetles. That's going to that's going to slow down. That's going to slow down your hive beetles. There's the hive beetles, if I'm, if I'm right, bury themselves. They, they, they bury themselves in the ground, and they'll get up in your hive, and obviously you don't want hive beetles. So this will help with the hive beetles, spiders, which I don't like. <laughs> there, see? That's all there is to it. Just spray around your hive. I was going to do a video on how fast it was taking it to kill it, but I really don't have to because I did part of this yesterday, like I said, and then the sprayer quit. So I stopped the video, so that's why I'm redoing it. And you can see, as of after yesterday, you can see the day, you can see how it's brown around the outside of this here. And that's what we want. So that's it. All natural weed killer. Like I said, I do it heavy duty. I'm going two cups of salt. The pool salt is cheap. You could probably use water softener salt if you wanted to. I'm not sure. I know David at Barnyard Bees, he uses the pool salt, so I just kind of do what he's doing. But he uses his mixture, he puts water in it. And uh, I think doing straight vinegar, it just makes it stronger. So, anyways, that's it. Uh, real basic and simple. Get yourself a sprayer, <coughs> get yourself some, some vinegar, some salt. Spray it around the outside of your hives, and your weeds will be gone. You can see how fast they're dying. This was yesterday. So they're doing really well. So anyways, hopefully you like this. Hopefully you learned something from this uh, video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. That's always more. That's always appreciated. Consider subscribing to the channel. Um, support the channel. Uh, any questions, comments, please leave them. So uh, until next time, YouTube, I think that's about it. I will, uh, happy spraying. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.